All right, man. After this one, I'm done ranting for the day. I couldn't fit everything in the first video, so I'm just say the rest of it. We're just gonna say it's like two parts. When it comes to the rioting, I'm seeing a lot of conversations or hearing about a lot of conversations that go something like, well, the reason for them doing this is this. Or you don't understand how oppressed black people are and for how long. And they seen another black guy die. And when you watch the video with them putting him in the van, it's white law enforcement doing it. And then the other side is like, well, so what? It's not helping nothing. Da -da -da, people that do stuff like that or X, Y, Z. Both sides have valid points. But this is what people are failing to realize, especially in the black community. Every time something like this happens and people decide they want to have open discussion about it, I avoid it at all costs because in my mind, I see it as the people that are racist. It just gives them an opportunity to call niggas niggas in a different way. If you don't feel me, peep this. What happened when Barack Obama got elected for the president of the United States of America? <clears throat> Did you watch the news? Did you watch CNN? Did you watch Fox? Did you catch all the little sideways, underneath ways they was calling him a nigga? Well, how about when he invited Common to the White House? so many different occasions where they called the president of the free world a nigga and just said it different. This is why certain things shouldn't have open discussion. Because in all honesty, a lot of people, they get their news from Twitter and Instagram. They don't read the articles. They don't learn the whole story. They see what they want to see, they hear what they want to hear, and they go ham. And then when niggas do nigga shit, white people sit in their living rooms, not even white people, I apologize. Racist people, undercover racist people. They sit in their living rooms and they laugh at the nigga shit. That's all it is. They call it nigga shit. Racists call you a nigga behind your back. And as soon as something happened, they love it. So they can start an open discussion. And as soon as you get heated, you would nigga too. We not past this. You don't see what's really going on. Jesus Christ said, how can you look up into the sky and tell me that a storm is coming? But you can't look around you at the people around you and tell me what's going on in your own life. The own people around you. The people that you talk to, you sit with, you eat with. You, you can tell me less about what's going on in your own world than you can tell me about what's going on up there in the sky where we don't live. Open debate is fine. It's a few people I know on my Facebook. Talk to them about anything. It won't ever reach no kind of ignorance. Certain shit you just can't tolerate. It is a tragedy what happened to that man. We should be praying for his family. Sending them love. Instead, we getting into it with each other about the problems that occurred afterwards. Let's start at the source. What happened to him? Do most people even know all the details? That's what I'm saying. 
And I ain't even really getting into it with nobody. I don't want to talk to nobody about it. I don't want to hear your opinion. Because I see it for what it is. And as soon as somebody acts like they know what they're talking about. And they it seems like they're trying to get me riled up. Like I don't know what I'm talking about. The conversation is done. Because it's pointless after that. Once I see that you have ignorance in the discussion, we cannot go any further. And that's the problem that we're having right now. Undercover racists wait for this shit. They wait for the opportunity to call us niggas in a different way. That's the theme of this video. Calling you a nigga by a different name. What does Shakespeare say? A rose by any other name? They try to call you a nigga by another day. First you got the problem that happens. They gonna talk about that. They gonna talk about that. When you get mad, you gonna be a nigga too. And then when they call you a nigga in a different way, you might peep it. It'll go into your subconscious and get you upset. The riot is in here. The peace is in here. The clarity is in here. It ain't out there. But when too much riots happen and they go unresolved up here, by enough amount of people, that's when it manifests into the physical. People think on one plane. On one plane. There are multiple planes that we live in. There's a reason why when you move up in a tax bracket, your whole area changes. The people around you change. Your settings change. You walk into the bank and they smile at you now. Instead of saying, man, this nigga, bro, probably not even going to pay this overdraft. Hey, love to the Gray family. Stop talking about it. Period. Learn the facts and send support to his loved ones and people that were directly affected. That's how we're going to make a difference. Because if we come together positive in any way, that's going to manifest positive things. What I'm hearing right now, what I'm seeing right now, is lunacy. It's tomfoolery and flawed duckery. Straight up. Have a good day. Good morning.